As I'm sure we all know, The Witcher 3 is a fantastic game. Even in vanilla, the game is incredible, but The Witcher 3 has one of the biggest modding communities in gaming, with thousands of different mods that can change just about anything in the game to make it even better and a more customizable experience. And today I'm going to go over the best mods I like to use in my playthrough and the best mods you can use in 2021 to make the game a better experience and fix some of the things that may be slightly frustrating or annoying and improve other mechanics and visuals of the game. All these mods can be found on Nexus mods and I use the Vortex mod manager with it to make it nice and easy to install the mods and play. So the first mod I like to use is the over 9000 weight limit mod. Carry weight can be a pretty annoying and frustrating thing to deal with in this game because after you do lots of looting, you're going to gain weight fast and you'll eventually be encumbered and have to drop or sell some valuable items and it's a constant process that kind of ruins the flow of which you're playing the game. This mod removes that annoyance and pretty much makes it so you can have unlimited weight so you can loot everything without worry and sort it all and sell the items later on whenever you want. I understand why some some of you may not like this kind of mod since it makes things a little easier for you, but I think it's well worth using and makes the game less restricting. The next mod, and this one is a personal favorite, is the Auto Loot All Items mod. This mod is pretty self-explanatory. Whenever you go to loot something, it automatically places all the items instantaneously into your inventory so you don't have to keep going into the looting menu. So it just makes the act of looting much quicker and less of a headache, and while in combat, it'll automatically loot the enemies you kill and put the items into your inventory so you don't have to spend a solid few minutes going around looting a bunch of corpses. And this paired with the carry weight mod means you can loot everything without worry of encumbering yourself. The next mod is Ultra Gore 2. This mod increases the blood from the enemies you kill and increases the amount you dismember your enemies by a lot. This mod makes the combat look and feel a lot more realistic and brutal, and I think it just looks really sick decapitating monsters or slicing a guy in half. The next mod I use is Auto Apply Oils. This mod will automatically scan enemies you're fighting and apply any oils you have that may be effective against that enemy, so you no longer have to go into the bestiary, check what oil is effective, and then apply it. This way everything is done automatically and you can have the strongest build to take down those monsters without having to waste any time. This next mod is a big visual overhaul called HD Reworked Project Ultimate. This basically enhances all the textures and character models in the game. If you have a good enough PC, I would really recommend this, it just straight up increases the quality of graphics without having a big effect on your FPS, but again, I'd probably only use it if you have a good PC. The next mod I recommend is Fast Travel From Anywhere. This mod is pretty simple, it makes it so you can fast travel to any signpost without actually having to go to another signpost first, so you can quickly head to your objective and not have to travel hundreds of meters just to get to the signpost. Next is the Instructable Items mod. This one is really up to you if you want to use it or not. It makes all your armor and weapons indestructible so you don't have to constantly go to armorers and blacksmiths to repair them so you can keep full effectiveness, damage, and protection. The next mod is a pretty minor one and that's the Improved Sign Effects mod. All it does is increase the brightness and intensity of the signs like AR and Igni. It's not a huge difference but I think it looks pretty cool and makes the signs look a lot more powerful and intense. Finally, the last mod is the Critical Slow Motion Combat mod. This mod makes it so every time you land a critical hit on an enemy, it goes into this cool slow motion camera shot that just makes the combat feel a lot more cinematic and badass. I really like it and it just increases the whole aesthetic and brutality of the combat, so I really recommend it. And that's all the mods I'd recommend using in your 2021 playthroughs of The Witcher 3. If you got any really good mods that I missed, feel free to put them down in the comments so we can all help each other and so we can all experience the Witcher Witcher 3 in the best way possible. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.